Today we're going to look at working with styles in RAD Rich Textbox. RAD Rich Textbox is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. RAD Rich Textbox supports styles similar to the ones found in Microsoft Office. They exist to provide a consistent look of the document and richer editing capabilities. The class that contains the logic behind the styles feature is in style definition. So each style definition has the following properties. Name is the name of the style. All styles in a document have a unique name, which is used as an identifier when applying the style. To a display name, this is a name that will be shown in the UI, a type, which specifies which document elements the style will target. So for example, a paragraph, a table, or span based on specifies that the current style inherits the style definition set to this property. This is how hierarchical styles can be defined. Then we have based on name, which is the same except for the style is being set using its name. Then we have linked style, which provides a relationship between a paragraph and character style. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at this. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working with the same project that we were working on before. And what we're going to do first off is we're going to go ahead and we're going to declare three different types of styles. The character style, the paragraph style, and then a link style. So a character style sets values for the properties of a span such as like a font size, a four color, and font weight. A paragraph style includes properties of a paragraph, such as background, text alignment, line spacing, spacing after. And then the link styles, they should be used with both properties of a paragraph and span should be set by the same style. So I'm just going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to paste in three more buttons. So these three buttons will give us an example of each, from the character to paragraph to link. So I uh, have a couple of different click event handlers that we're going to resolve in just a second. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our main page.xaml.cs. So let's go ahead and add in a character style here. So I'm just going to paste in this code snippet here and we can see that the first thing we're going to do is set the style definition. So we set a style definition and we've named it char style and then we're setting the top the type's going to be character. We're adding a couple of different span properties such as the font family, the font size, the four color, but then we're giving it the display name and then we're also giving it the name. After we do that we simply add the char style to rad rich repository.add and then we're able to use this style by actually switching the change style name to the style that we just created. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. We'll just go ahead and resolve the other event handlers first though where we don't get an error while we load. So we will go ahead and hit debug and we're going to go start without debugging. So I'm going to go ahead and double click Rad Rich text box and I'm going to hit the character button. So once I did that we can see that of course it changed the font, it changed the size, and then it also changed the color to orange, just like we were able to see right here. So let's go ahead and take a quick look now at the paragraph. So for the paragraph style, it's actually set up very, very similar. So we paste in a short code snippet here. We can see, of course, we're setting the style definition like we were doing before. And then, of course, the top now, the style top is actually set to paragraph. So we're going to change the background to red. We're going to ch change the text alignment to center. And then, of course, we're going to give it our display name and then our name. We're going to add it to the style repository. And then we're going to change the style top to our paragraph style. So let's go ahead and run the application. And now that the application is loaded, I'm just going to put my cursor just right here in underneath the control, my caret, and then I'm going to hit paragraph. So once I did that, we can see here that the text is centered and we also have our red background as well. And now finally, let's look at the linked one. 
So declaring a linked style, it's fairly simple. So linked styles, they should be used when both properties of a paragraph and span should be set by the same style. So if we scroll down to our linked button and I paste this in, we see again we're setting a style definition and this is just going to be named linked paragraph style. We have a paragraph then we have a background set to yellow. We're given it a display name and then a name. And then we're setting up our character style. We're going to set the font weight to bold, the font size to 30, and then of course the colors to purple. And then we're going to add both of these to our style repository. And then finally, where we see the change style name, linked char style, is actually going to contain both of these style definitions and we can see that by double clicking on this one so our length paragraph style dot length style is equal to our length character style so we'll go ahead and run the application again and this time we should see a yellow and purple with a font weight of about 30 so I'll simply move my caret inside of this paragraph here and I'll hit linked and we can see that now we have our yellow background with our font weight of 30 and then we have our text highlighted in purple. Again I'd like to thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.teleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.teleric.com for the latest news and announcements.